Hi guys, it's finally our Bonanza Extra again, and today we're going to be going over some of the mathematical features of Python. So we're just going to open up the IDLE here. And we're going to be typing all our code in the Python shell today to make it just quicker in pretty much every way. Now in Python you can do such things as adding, subtracting, timesing, which is the asterisk, or the star above the 8, and the forward slash, which is also the question mark key. <coughs> There's also a couple more features such as the modulus and that's about it. So just to give you a quick example you could do 2 plus 2. Now when you're in the shell you do not need to use the print statement seeing as it just runs the code anyway. So 2 plus 2 equals 4 3 minus 1 equals 2. Now you could do 3 times 5 equals 15 and you could also do 6 divided by 2 equals 3.0 and now say we did something like 7 divided by 2 it would go as 3.5 which is a decimal point or a float value in the versions of Python 2.x you would have to type in 7.0 or uh, 7.0 or you could type in slash 2.0 or just 2 but the statement had to contain a decimal point of some kind however in 3.x version this has been changed and it now just gives you a float value when you subtract an integer from an integer now I'm going to go in over the modulus key which is the percent sign now see you did 7 modulus 3 now basically what a modulus is, it's a divide, except it doesn't divide exactly, it gi it divides it and then gives you the remainder. So how many 3's go into 7? That's 2. And then it's remainder 1, so we should get an answer of 1. See? Now, another thing to go over is uh, indices or powers, as they might be called. Now one way to do powers would be, say, like 2 times 2 times 2. This is a tricky way, especially if, to, especially if you're multiplying by big numbers. What you can do, put 2 in 2 stars, which specifies that it is a power, and then whatever you want to multiply it by. See, that gives us 8. Now you can also use this in applications by using the print command, and just uh, printing out uh, statements. And I believe you can also set uh, variables equal to um, uh, uh, sums. So a is equal to uh, 2 plus 3. Let me just print a quickly. It prints 5. Now that's about it for the tutorial today. But hopefully I'll be seeing you next time. And uh, yeah, goodbye.